hi everyone welcome back to the channel family hope you're having a good day or night in case you're coming across my video for the first time you are highly welcome my name is elizabeth rookie and on this video i'm going to share with you seven things kidwire shared in a recent interview okay just stick around you're going to love it all right before i get into it so he shared this he said my team surprised me with this amazing billboard outside the Koi Leki Link Bridge. Obviously, I had to give the people some small dance steps. Okay, so this is very expensive. Kudos to his team. Now, let's get right into the gist. I'm going to talk about the seven things, but I'll paraphrase. Okay. Now, the first thing he talked about in the interview with Euro Daniels is answering the question why he went back to the show with brother ninja all stars so he answered by saying that is the biggest platform in africa yes big brother ninja so why not he would embrace that opportunity anytime because it helped him build his brand the fame he currently enjoys and that is you know pivotal to who is who he currently is so he loved it and then he took the opportunity to go back to the house again to build more on his brand so and previously he was this love and light kind of person but this time around you know based on popular demands what people were saying give up another vibe and he said okay he's gonna come with the a violence okay so that's about the show for him next he talked about kid wire so he was asked who is kid wire so he said his name is tesse yes kid and his surname is wire he wanted kid slash wire on the show but they kind of matched it so it's talk as kid wire and people think his name is kid wire that his surname is actually wire why his name is kid but his first name is tesse which is thief language from benway state and it literally means god has given or done it kind of yes so he went further to describe his father as an extrovert a go-getter somebody who likes to party to have fun to have friends you know that he achieved lots and lots of things even you know from his young age in nigeria that even things he has heard about his dad are mostly from people that know his dad he has little information directly from his dad he knows a lot more from people who talk about his dad and what he has achieved but on the other hand, his mom is an introvert, down to earth, someone interested in charity, you know, orphanages. She's a homebody. She's very quiet. And he said that he has a mixture of both from his mom and his dad. But people see mostly the extroversial part of him, which is the fun part. Then he went to say, further to say that he's not pressured to be like his dad he just wants to focus on his mental well-being his personal goals that he just loves to have fun hang out with david or celebs you know party live like that's it that's it he doesn't feel any pressure to you know do what his dad has done or feel his dad's shoes okay so he went further to talk about the lowest point so this is the fourth thing one about the show, then about Kid Wire, third about his family dynamics, the fourth is his lowest point in life. So he said his lowest point is when he felt anxiety attacks, that eight weeks after he left the show 2020, he was going to the bathroom and then suddenly he couldn't walk, his tongue was dry, and you know, it wasn't feeling good. So he went to the hospital, he's been to Dubai, then to Turkey to get, you know, what's wrong with him. But he was told, based on the COVID situation, that his first thought was that maybe it's COVID, but later he got to understand that he has high blood pressure, that he was given drugs. And then when he went to UK to ask further about his health, 
His doctor told him he needs to stop doing certain things, needs to relax more and even stop the high blood pressure drug, you know, because he was questioning himself why he had to take blood pressure drug at his young age of 28. Okay, so he said also he realized that negligence would have led to him losing his life, that he needed to use his instincts more. He even shared an instance where he needed to use his instincts but didn't. When Alex found the black envelope, he said he was the first to be in that spot where she found it. His instincts told him to check that area, but he just neglected it and went to the garden where there weren't much housemates. And that was the week he left the house because Alex found the envelope that he would have found himself. So he talked about his health challenges and how it you know brought scare to his life that oh if he's not careful if he neglects certain things like his instincts or his health he could you know pass yes so that's the lowest point then he talked about his relationship yes it was known that after the show based on what he did in the house having you know kids with mercy his girl unfollowed him yes his Laura D2 girlfriend or fiance and he said yes that they speak every time when he got out of the house they've been talking they communicate that he understands that she's from a different background and she processes things differently so he wants to give her time to you know you know soak it all in and heal from whatever it is tr is troubling her about the situation but that he believes that everything will be okay because they talk and it's not over. They're still in a relationship, right? And he also said there's definitely a point where he will move on. He's currently 30. He'll be 31 next year, 2024. So move on to family life, like having children, raising a family, basically. He even said, you know, most of the great men have women in their life at some point to keep them grounded, keep them motivated, keep them relaxed when they are in tense situations. So he believes that every king should have a queen. So he just talked about his relationship in that light by saying that she, you know, felt what happened. He's giving her time to, you know, come out of the whole feelings, but they are still good. They are still in talking terms and that in the near future what they have will progress from just a relationship to settling down and having a family all right next he talks about the housemates because he was asked who he thinks is positioned to win so he said cc yes he loves cc mercy and then alex yes and he also thinks soma and ike stands a chance of winning as a then he Ike had not left the house when he granted the interview. So the interviewer asked not even Adekule said um he doesn't see Adekule as a dark horse. He just sees him as someone who is intuitive, who knows the game, but it doesn't really see him winning. Maybe he sees him being in top five but not necessarily winning. So CC, Mercy, and Alex were the people Kidwire mentioned. All right, and lastly, he talked about is just gave a take home word. He said Nigerians are very intelligent, very, you know, high achieving, you know, but they need to love more. <laughs> that is a lot of chaos. They do they like the violence you know big brother the whole best boost that's what he means he doesn't mean like real violence it just the violence in social media how they want the toxicity here and there but they should learn to love more to appreciate people more because it's to get to a time where nigeria will become you know a place where people don't want to stay anymore they should understand that people come from different background and not everybody likes the glass words. So that's just like his take home word. So yes, just to recap, the first he talked about the show, why he went into the house. Yes, that's to build his brand. Then he talked about himself, his name, yes, his 
state where he's from. He talked about his family dynamics. Mm -hmm. He also talked about his relationship. He talked about his lowest point. Then he talked about who he thinks will win and a take home advice on Nigerians loving more. To recap this, there's something he said about Kidwire. He said Kidwire is carefree, confident, outgoing, ambitious. Kidwire is also trying to find out who the new Kidwire is. That Tessa is before fame. Now Kidwire is the person he is after the fame came. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please do well to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe because I have more interviews of your faves coming up. I'm just going to dilute it here. Cheers.